Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I am blessed. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited because God is really doing some things in my life. Uh, I'm just out here trusting God. But I came on to encourage you and I wanted to tell you, watch your mouth. In this season, it is very important that you watch your mouth. Watch your mouth and watch your thoughts. Don't think negative. Don't speak negative. I want you to watch your mouth, watch your thoughts, and watch your habits. For it becomes your character. Again, watch your mouth, watch your thoughts, because it becomes your character. Also, watch your habits. Your words and seeds. Once you sow those words, that becomes your life. And it will produce the fruit that you desire. If you're speaking negative, that's the fruit that you're going to produce. If you're speaking positive, that's the fruit that you're going to produce. So again, watch your mouth, watch your thoughts, and watch your habits. Do y'all ever think before you speak? Sometimes we have to realize that it is important to think before we speak. Start thinking before you speak. If it's not right, then don't say it. Think before you speak. Watch your words. Watch your thoughts. Watch your habits. A word that I have is Proverbs 21, 23. It says, watch your words and hold your tongue. You'll save yourself a lot of grief. We have to make sure we use our words wisely and make sure we're speaking life while watching our mouth. So make sure you're using your words wisely. If you want something positive, start speaking things positive. If you don't want negative things to happen in your life, stop speaking negative things. Our mouth should not be used to tear down ourselves or corrupt ourselves or tear down others or correct others. Instead, build up yourself and build up others. Watch your mouth. Watch your thoughts. Watch your habits. God will bring life to you if you start speaking positive things. So make sure you're speaking positive things over your life so you can bring life to yourself. Mistakes begin with the mouth. When you open up your mouth and you speak something negative, that's what happens in your life. Mistakes begin with the, with the mouth. If you don't like what's going on with your life, if you don't like the result of your life right now, start watching your mouth, watching your words. Learn to control your mouth, control your thoughts. For if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect. And we, if we could control our thoughts every day, we would be perfect. So start controlling your mouth and controlling your thoughts. You want to see uh, positive things producing your life? Start speaking positively. Start speaking positively. So I've written a book, and it's called Kicking Down the Fence, Setting Standards and Boundaries. And one of the chapters in there is Watch Your Mouth. So if you need to know more things about how you can watch your mouth, um, so I have scriptures in there. That tells you things about uh, your life or whatever, how you need to watch your mouth. So if you need if you need some encouragement with your life, go ahead and purchase Kicking Down the Fence. I'll drop the link in the comments. And also it's on my Blossom Up um, Facebook website page. So you can purchase the copy of my book, Kicking Down the Fence, Setting Your Standards and Boundaries. Start setting those standards and boundaries for yourself. Just because somebody's speaking negative over your life does not mean you have to listen to those negative things. Watch your mouth. Watch your thoughts. Watch your habits. Don't fall into the traps of what people speak over your life. Start watching them out. Just because they're saying you're worthless, just because they're saying you're not good enough, just because they're telling you you can't do anything, watch your words. Watch your mouth. Don't start speaking what those people speak over you because you'll start stumbling and you'll start seeing negative things in your life whenever you do what those people say about you or you feel how those people say about you ask god for wisdom choose your words carefully then take a step of obedience and speak the truth wrapped up in love about your life words can save our life if you watch your words it can save your life it can either save your life or it can bring destruction to your life we don't want to bring destruction to our life so we want to watch our words we want to think before i speak i used to be a person that didn't care what came out of my mouth um i said everything of how i felt and sometimes, I'm not perfect, sometimes it still happens, but I used to be a person that always said what was on my mind. Whatever came to my mind, I would say it out loud. I had to, God had to deal with me with that. I, I'm growing, I'm evolving, I'm changing, I'm transforming. God had to really deal with me when it came to that because however I felt, that is how... That is what I said out loud. That's what came out of my mouth. If I was feeling depressed, that's how I spoke. If I was angry, angry things came out of my mouth, and I would hurt other people. And if people made me mad, I, I would tell them, I would straight up tell them how I feel. And still today, I have to catch myself and say, Chrissy, you were wrong. Go back and apologize. Watch the words that come out of your mouth. Start thinking before you speak. 
I have to think about that. So here's some things you can do to help you control your tongue. Rely on God's strength to aid you. Dedicate your heart and tongue to the Lord each day. Put your heart in tune with God's spirit by reading his word. Meditate on scriptures that address the power of words. Take responsibility for every word you speak. Learn to speak words that will encourage, comfort, inspire, and edify your life and others' life. So the prayer I have for you is, I want you to pray this, and I'm going to pray it. Lord, help me to understand the power of my words. Help me to use my mouth to agree with your truth instead of my circumstances. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So if you agree with that prayer... I want you to go ahead and type in the comments. Amen. Start thinking before you speak. Start changing the way you speak. Watch your mouth. Watch your words. Watch your habits. And watch your thoughts. Catch those negative thoughts when they come. Catch those words when they come out of your mouth. Because you don't want to speak those negative things over your life. You want to speak those positive things over your life. So start seeking God for wisdom and making the right moves. And start seeking God for wisdom and understanding so that you can speak the right words over your life and speak the right words over others' life. So again, watch your mouth by watching your words. Watch your thoughts and watch your habits. If you have people that speak negative around you all the time, it's time to remove those people. Though you don't want to hurt their feelings, start removing those people because... You don't need all that excessive stuff in your life. You don't need all that negativity in your ear, all that talking, all that drama. It's time to get rid of that because God is getting ready to do some great things in your life. So watch your mouth with your words, watch your thoughts, and watch your habits. Don't start picking up habits, negative habits. Start picking up those positive habits. If you want God to do something in your life, start picking up those positive habits. So I came on to tell you again, watch your mouth, watch your words, Watch your thoughts and watch your habits and you'll get what God desires you to have. Colossians 4 and 6 says, let your speech at all times be gracious and pleasant, seasoned with salt so that you will know how to answer each one who questions you. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to taste and help to the body. And that's Proverbs 16, 24 added to that. So make sure that you're watching the words that come out of your mouth because you don't want to speak negative things over your life. Speak life with your lips and watch life come about. When God wanted to create something, he used words. When Satan wanted to destroy something, he used words. Both of them used words in order, to, in order to exercise their power. If you and I were to change the things we speak out of our mouths and recognize the power of our words, we could change our life for the better. Your greatest enemy can be your words. It can be your words if you're speaking negative. But it can be your partner if you speak positive. Because God can do anything. God is capable of doing anything. So start speaking those positive things over your life. So again, I came on to encourage you to say, watch your mouth with your words. Watch your thoughts. Watch those negative thoughts that come to your mind. And watch your habits. Start changing those negative habits. Start changing those negative thoughts. And start changing those negative words. Change it into positive habits. Change it into positive words. And change it into positive thoughts. So that's all I have for you. Remember to blossom up and bloom where you have been planted. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Love you.